Afternoon guys, me again, and only me, here we have the Radian XL, this is the second one I've had, I got the first one when they first come out, a uh, few issues with them, um, yeah, sorry about that, a few issues with them, uh, <coughs> mainly being structure on the wings, uh, which weren't the fault of what happened to mine, but others who have had the radian, it was their wings that give way, uh, pulling some G and their wings folded in half. My one, what happened is there was insufficient glue on the tail surface. If you look right there, there weren't enough glue inside there. So when I was flying, one of them shook loose it was hanging on just the two carbon rods and it was wobbling as it was wobbling the opposite side was trying to correct what that side was doing <laughs> and uh, inadvertently shook my plane to pieces it literally vibrated itself to death uh, it vibrated so violently that the main wing snapped and uh, it, it just went down there weren't no stopping it there weren't no saving it uh, if the elevator section had come off completely and the other side was still on I'd have had half a chance so what I've done is the first thing I've done while putting it together is you can just make it out there I've put bedlam tape otherwise known as aileron tape on the joins both sides of the hinge top and bottom um, which has stopped the uh, elevator from coming off full stop uh, I've also done it on the bottom as you can see um, also what I've done is I actually on this side I think it's this side yeah you can just see the glue I spot glued that carbon spar into this side of the tail section and I spot glued the other carbon spar in this tail section so that's glued and attached and that's glued and attached. So if I want to undo it, I can undo it still um, and replace the tail section. All you've got to do is just buy the tail and a couple of carbon rods, job done. Uh, the next mod I've done is I noticed that when you moved the tail section there, there was a lot of flex in it, causing the rudder to move. Um, so it's a bit flimsy, this, this uh, bit of fiberglass or whatever it is they've put in there. It's got the rigidity sort of up and down, but left and right, it hasn't got any. So what I've done is I've got some six mil carbon. Um, get that from Blobby King. You know the people. Uh, it's really cheap. And all I've done was cut into the foam deep enough to take it. Uh, obviously, I pulled a bit too much foam out there because my blade was blunt. Stuffed it in there and just CA glued it, a bit of contact adhesive. Um, I find a really good glue is that Hayfix. Um, you can get it online or they normally sell it on a store at Wings and Wheels. And uh, I do like to uh, purchase it. It's quite expensive, but does what it says on the tin. Um, cheaper glues work as well. But if you like me, I do glue a lot of stuff and that glue works you only need a tiny bit and it will stick you you got to you, you got to be patient you got to let it go off the older it gets the stronger it gets as well apparently um so that's that carbon mod in the towel uh second thing i done was run uh fiber tape the whole way down the body um just to give it a bit of protection against the grass you know what it's like uh, you scratch along the grass, it wears the foam out eventually and you start getting like a rough foamy sort of abrasion thing going on and last but not least <coughs> the wings, the main centre part of the wings now people had issues of the wings folding up I didn't until it shook itself to pieces um, so I've got fibre tape I run the fibre tape twice, the whole way length across the uh, carbon spars and then what I've done is I followed it wrapped it round so that it went past and just cut out for the carbon spars 
so it's got a bit of a uh, bit of rigidity to it and it just adds a little bit more strength to it so if your wings are flexing that that stuff's gonna reduce a lot of that flex so yeah um, they're the they're the main things you want to do with your Radian XL strengthen the wings up bit of tape on the body just for mainly protection but it also adds a bit more rigidity to the frame uh, in case um, you have a bit of an hard landing uh, probably stop your tail from snapping upwards although they have got a meaty carbon tube going down the inside uh, bedlam tape and spot glue and your carbon spar on the tail is definitely a must uh, it's, it's made a difference so much also another thing definitely the last thing the rudder uh, you glue it in by the little tabs but how much do you trust them little tabs over time I've had a few models where you know you put the CA glue on it goes a bit brittle and hard and over time they wear and they tend to go a bit brittle um, so what I've done I, I put bedlam tape on the rudder as well or aileron tape but it's on a rudder so you could call it a rudder tape if you really wanted to um, yeah both sides just down to the horn just to give it that added bit of security if your hinges do eventually give way they're not gonna you're not gonna lose a rudder in the air um, although you still got the vertical stab you'll lose your left and right because it is a free channel if you had ailerons it's not an issue you can throw the rudder away and still fly nice as I've done with an, a PA addiction, my rudder fell off in me there. And I still had a part of a vertical stab and I managed to land it nicely. It's still tracked nice and straight. So yeah, that's it guys. Like and uh, comment or share or whatever, or do whatever. Um, and that's that, Radian XL. Do this, it's an essential, a must, a must do. And then, if anything else goes wrong, it can only be the receiver. His plane's not going to fall apart in the air. Um, receiver or transmitter, which I do find the six three six or six five six, they're a nuisance. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and share if you feel the need. If not, no worries. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel for some more videos, maybe. Take care.